Sandora no Daibouken. Alright, so since last time, I figured out that the crocodiles or alligators do not respond in proximity to Sandra, which actually changes things a lot. And I'm about to show you what I mean here. But basically, I thought that they would open their mouths whenever Sandra was near, when in fact that is not the case. They only do that every few seconds. So you are able to safely proceed by jumping on their heads, which is actually really handy. So that makes this part a lot easier than I had initially thought. Sandra, the tiny green alien with a pitchfork and a vendetta against cavemen and crocodiles. Yeah, I didn't just think of that now. Sandrano Daibouken with all new moves like jumping, attacking, and climbing. There we go. So I was able to safely beat that level. And we have some kind of snow pillars here, which I can't seem to get through. Oh, there we go. Ha ha ha. Sandra can safely proceed through snow pillars by using her special spinny movie thing. Special spinny movie thingy. Whoa. You just fell into an abyss. That. Oh, I'm not dead. Okay, cool. Well, apparently Sandra can survive huge falls, but certainly not without taking some sort of damage. Well, maybe not damage. I guess she's just kind of uh, out of sorts for a second there. Well, I'm glad I didn't have to spend a lot of time figuring out how to, how to get through those snow pillars. Seems rather counterintuitive, but... You can't just jump through them or any. I don't think you can jump on top of them either. Anyway. Let's proceed with the adventures of Sandra. Epic adventures! Uh, killing snowball thingies and defeating cavemen. Oh. That was a bad move. I'm sorry. This game. This level is a little harder than expected. But I'm sure I'll be able to make it through. I'm not sure what it is, be the difference between the times I do the special spinny movie thingy and, and she kind of collapses for a second and the times that she doesn't, but I guess we'll figure that out as we go. Sandra! The tiny green alien. Well, what else is she, right? I, I certainly haven't seen no living creatures of a what was that a bull and this huge snowball thingy oh man it splits into all these small ones well that's no fun oh that's not fair okay that was not cool at all sorry guys I'll do I'll do a lot better I, I'm pretty sure I can get through this Sandra. Super fast spinny move. With all new features like pausing the game. <laughs> I mean, I'm still wondering at what point we actually run into this sage. Big snowball y thingy. Splits into tiny small bully thingies. With all new technology. Creating henchmen out of absolutely nothing. I don't like the look of this. Oh. I'm sorry. That was horrible. So apparently this place is called the Mysterious Forest. Although I have yet to see anything too mysterious about it, except for giant snowballs attacking me. I 
And the only difference from the last forest is that we have snow. And none of those weird shiny things, which I couldn't figure out what they were. I guess they were just kind of in background, but... They looked as though they had some kind of special significance, so I thought they might be more, but maybe not. Because this game actually reminds me a fair bit of uh, Wagyan Lando, uh, another Japanese game. I don't know if you've heard of it. And it's a game by Namco, if I'm not mistaken. Which is also a pretty fun action game. And I'm riffing on a game right now that is also not half bad. It's certainly not innovative, but it's it's not a bad game. Crazy bulls. Have you ever seen bulls in a forest with snow on the ground? Oh! Oh, no way! That was not cool. Is your house littered and full of snowballs? Wait, that didn't even make any sense. Let's try that again. Is your house infested with snowballs? Well, hire Sundra, the magical bull beater conqueror, whatever you want to call her, and she'll solve your bull problem for you. The fact that I'm making no progress in this game is, is forcing me to come up with m no more jokes. Oh, it's pretty harsh, eh? It starts you right at back at the beginning, and you can only take one hit. At least with Mario, once you got, like, your cape or whatever, you could take two hits. Or your mushroom. Although I don't suppose they're uh, expecting someone with a giant pitch pitchfork to be struggling. Alright, so I'm gonna make this jump a little shorter. Alright. Very good, very good. I think we should be able to do this this time. Whatever it is we're doing. No, it says to give it a strong knock. There we go. Snow falling from the heavens. A rope falling from the sky. Climbing. An all new action never before seen in a Super Nintendo game. Aha. Yes, it's the Sage's place. Hmm? What do you want to do? Yes? Hmm? Uh, okay, so apparently I'm supposed to find some kind of medicine to help those people that turn to stone. Oh, and collect the seven yellow orbs. Wow, this game is just getting started because I don't even have it. Oh, hold on. Haha, <laughs> it's my first ever yellow orb. And we have six more to go. Hmm, jumping puzzles. The nine one, ninth wonder of the world. Oh, man. That one's kind of tricky. Yes. I died again. Game over. And we are well past the nine minute mark, so we will continue next time in Sandora no Daivoken. Let's play Sandora no Daivoken Part 3.